in this very moment, you have the power to change your life. You are the creator of your reality. And today we're going to talk about how to tap into that incredible power within you. It all starts with two simple words, relax and trust. Think about it. How often do we spend our days rushing around, stressed out, worried about what might happen? We're constantly on edge trying to control everything around us. But what if I told you that the key to getting everything you want is actually to let go? That's right. The secret to manifesting your desires, to creating the life of your dreams, is to relax and trust. It sounds so simple, doesn't it? But it's a profound truth that can transform your entire existence. When you relax, you open yourself up to the infinite possibilities of the universe. Your mind becomes clear, your body becomes calm, and you create space for miracles to happen. And when you trust, you align yourself with the natural flow of life. You stop fighting against the current and start moving with it. When you use the really exciting part, when you combine relaxation and trust with expectation, that's when the magic happens. That's when you start to see results, not in some distant future, but right here, right now, today. So many of us have been conditioned to believe that change takes time, that we need to work hard, struggle, and suffer before we can achieve our goals. But what if I told you that's not true? What if I told you that you can expect miracles to happen the same day you set your intention? It might sound too good to be true, but I've seen it happen time and time again. I've witnessed people heal from chronic illnesses, manifest their dream jobs, find their soulmates, all in a matter of days or even hours, and it all started with them deciding to relax, trust, and expect great things to happen. Now, I know what you might be thinking, but Joe, I've tried positive thinking before. I've tried visualizing. It didn't work for me, and I hear you. I really do. But here's the thing. It's not just about thinking positive thoughts or visualizing what you, it's about feeling it. It's about embodying the reality you desire right now in this very moment. When you truly relax and trust, you enter a state of being where anything is possible. Your body releases tension, your mind becomes clear, and you tap into a field of infinite potential. In this state, you're no longer separate from your desires. You become one with them. And here's where expectation comes in. When you expect something to happen, you're not hoping for it or wishing for it. You're knowing it. You're living as if it's already happened. And that's when the universe starts to respond. You see, the universe doesn't understand the difference between what's happening in your outer world and what's happening in your inner world. When you can create the feeling of having what you want before it actually manifests in your physical reality, that's when you become a true creator. So how do we do this? How do we relax, trust, and expect miracles to happen today? It all starts with your thoughts and your energy. Every thought you think sends out a signal to the universe. It's like dropping a pebble in a pond, the ripples spread out, affecting everything around you. When you think thoughts of lack, of fear, of worry, you're sending out a signal that creates more of those experiences in your life. But when you choose to think thoughts of abundance, of love, of possibility, you're creating a whole different reality. You're tuning into a different frequency, one where miracles are not only possible but expected. And it's not just about your thoughts. It's about your energy, your vibration. Every emotion you feel is sending out a signal to the universe. When you feel stressed, anxious, or frustrated, you're vibrating at a low frequency. But when you can relax, when you can trust, when you can feel joy and gratitude even before your desires manifest, that's when you're vibrating at a frequency that attracts miracles. So how do we shift our thoughts and our energy? It starts with awareness. Pay attention to what you're thinking and feeling throughout the day. Notice when you're caught up in stress or worry, and then make a conscious choice to shift. Take a deep breath. Feel your body relax, and then ask yourself, what would I be thinking right now if I truly believed that everything was working out perfectly for me? How would I feel if I knew that my desires were already on their way to me? This is where meditation comes in. When you meditate, you create space between your thoughts. You step out of the constant chatter of your mind and into a place of peace and possibility. In this space, you can start to reprogram your subconscious mind. You see, most of our thoughts and behaviors are controlled by our subconscious mind. It's like an autopilot that's been programmed by our past experiences, our beliefs, our environment. But when we meditate, we can access this subconscious mind and start to change the program. In meditation, you can visualize your desired reality. But remember, it's not just about seeing it in your mind's eye. It's about feeling it with every cell of your body. What would it feel like to have perfect health? What would it feel like to be financially abundant? 
What would it feel like to be in a loving, supportive relationship? As you sit in meditation, allow yourself to fully embody these feelings. Let them wash over you. Let them fill you up. And as you do this, you're literally changing your brain chemistry. You're creating new neural pathways that support your new reality. But here's the can't. Just do this once and expect miracles to happen. This needs to become a daily practice. Every day, take time to relax, to trust, to expect great things. Make it as much a part of your routine as brushing your teeth or eating breakfast. And as you do this, pay attention to the signs around you. The universe is always communicating with us, always guiding us towards our highest good. But so often, we're too busy, too stressed, too caught up in our own thoughts to notice. When you relax and trust, you become more attuned to these signs. You start to notice synchronicities, those little coincidences that seem too perfect to be random. Maybe you think of someone and they call you moments later, or you keep seeing the same number everywhere you look, or you overhear a conversation that gives you exactly the information you need. These are all signs that you're on the right track. They're confirmations from the universe that it's heard your desires and is working to bring them to you. But you have to be open to receiving them. You have to trust that they're there. Brings us to another important point. Gratitude, when you're grateful for what you already have, you open yourself up to receiving more. It's like telling the universe, hey, I really appreciate everything you've given me. I'm ready for more. So make gratitude a part of your daily practice. Every morning when you wake up, before you even get out of bed, think of three things you're grateful for. Feel the gratitude in your body. Let it fill you up. And then carry that feeling with you throughout your day. Now I know what some of you might be thinking. But Joe, what about action? Don't we need to do something to make our dreams come true? And you're absolutely right. Action is important. But it's not about forcing things to happen or struggling against the current. When you're relaxed, when you're trusting, when you're expecting great things to happen, the right actions will become clear to you. You'll feel inspired to take certain steps. You'll be in the right place at the right time to meet the right people. Opportunities will present themselves to you. This is what I call inspired action. It's not about pushing and striving. It's about flowing with the natural current of life. It's about following your intuition, trusting your gut, and taking steps that feel right to you. And you're taking inspired action. It doesn't feel like work. It feels like play. It feels like you're doing exactly what you're meant to be doing. And that's when miracles start to happen. Now, let's talk about expectation. This is where so many people trip up. They say they want something, but deep down, they don't really believe it's possible for them. They have doubts, fears, limiting beliefs that hold them back. But when you truly expect something to happen, when you know it in your bones, that's when the universe moves mountains to make it happen. And the key to expectation is to detach from the outcome. What do I mean by that? Well, when we're attached to a specific outcome, we're often coming from a place of lack. We're saying, I need this to happen or else I won't be happy. And that energy of need, of desperation, actually pushes our desires away from us. But when we can detach from the outcome, when we can say, I'd love for this to happen, but I know that whatever happens is for my highest good, that's when we open ourselves up to receive even more than we could have imagined. So expect great things to happen, but hold that expectation lightly. Trust that the universe has a plan for you that's even better than what you can conceive with your limited human mind. And remember, expectation isn't about waiting for something to happen in the future. It's about living as if it's already happened. It's about bringing the future into the present moment. So often, we put our happiness on hold. We say, I'll be happy when I get that job, or I'll feel successful when I make a certain amount of money, or I'll feel loved when I find the right partner. But the truth is, you can feel all of those things right now. You can feel successful before you make your first million. You can feel love before you meet your soulmate. You can feel healthy before the physical symptoms disappear. And when you can create those feelings within yourself, that's when you become a magnet for the experiences that match those feelings. This is what it means to live in the end result. It's about embodying the version of yourself that already has everything you desire. How would that version of you think? How would they feel? How would they carry themselves? How would they speak? Start living as that version of yourself today. Don't wait for external circumstances to change. Be the change you want to see in your life. Now, I know this might sound challenging. I know it might feel like a big leap from where you are now to where you want to be. But remember, you don't have to make this leap all at once. You can start small. Start with just five minutes a day. 
sit quietly, close your eyes, and imagine yourself living your ideal life. Feel the feelings associated with that life. Let them fill your body. And then when you open your eyes, carry those feelings with you into your day. As you do this consistently, you'll start to notice changes. Maybe at first, it's just small things. You feel a little more peaceful. You handle stress a little better. You notice more moments of joy throughout your day. But as you continue this practice, as you make it a regular part of your life, you'll start to see bigger changes. Opportunities will start to present themselves. People will be drawn to your energy. Things that used to bother you won't affect you as much. And before you know it, you'll look around and realize that your life has transformed. Not because you struggled and pushed and forced things to happen, but because you relaxed, trusted, and expected great things to come to you. Now, I want to address something that often comes up when we talk about manifesting our desires. Some people worry that it's selfish to focus on what we want. They think that wanting more for ourselves somehow takes away from others. But here's the truth. When you raise your vibration, when you create a better life for yourself, you raise the vibration of everyone around you. Your joy, your success, your abundance doesn't take away from anyone else. In fact, it inspires others to reach for more in their own lives. Think about it. When you're around someone who's happy, confident, and successful, how does it make you feel? Doesn't it make you believe that more is possible for you too? That's the ripple effect of raising your own vibration.